Hi everyone, today is Friday, May 26, two days after we did our big reveal call that proved without a shadow of a doubt that all the Kazarians are behind all the defamation, all the attacks on Stellar, etc. But there was one clip that I thought was just too good not to add in, that's why I'm putting this one in extra. And you best believe that I took this to Stellar Global and pointed this out as well, because um, we have, uh, for those who don't know, um, we have issues with Stellar Expert, okay? And you know what, I'm, I'll just explain the story, because there's a lot of no new folks here who don't understand the story, who might have looked on Stellar Expert, and they see a flag on Tread. Um, this flag was put in place by Orbit Lens, who controls Stellar Expert, and we were reported by QSI minions who wanted to say that we were scamming folks. And, and this is entirely because we were the ones exposing QSI as, as the fraud it is. And my, um, Tread was affected, um, all of Miriam's assets were affected, KT was affected, everyone, um, um, oh, and, and Julie's assets, uh, they were affected too. Everyone involved with the research team who was exposing QSI was reported, and um, OL, who, um, he's a Ukrainian, who oversees all of Stellar Expert. He didn't really look into um, the actual claims at all, and he just slapped a flag on it. Um, now, we have scammed no one at all. Um, we are the opposite of a scam. We have put everything that, that we get on, on buys and movement um, back in into the project. So the other um, fork of this thing is the same flagging system that OL used against us was created in part by us. Rob created a group a long time ago where um, we basically kicked ideas and, th and threw around all these uh, prerequisites for how to go about um, flagging these assets on Stellar Expert. So we are actually um, a, a big part responsible for the same system that slapped a flag on us. And, and yes, it, it, it's very irritating. Um, we're working on getting the flag removed. I'm talking to Rob. Rob is the go-between for us and Stellar Expert. Um, one of the things that's going to happen... Did you guys catch that? So literally, they're complaining about the same exact things that they're doing to other people. That's what you call the boomerang effect. So, got my cup of coffee, and I'm here today to tackle a new round of bullshit. It has come to my attention that Emily Stank has tried to smear me once again, which is expected. Um, anytime I bring up talk about Stellar Expert and the flagging system, she tries to twist it and use it to her benefit. Um, my case with Tread is not the same as Emily's case with all her scam assets and seller expert slash orbit lens. Um, first off, we were reported by QSI minions who had an issue with us going after their scam assets and flagging them. So they in turn reported us, the information wasn't looked into whatsoever, and we caught a flag, which is in the process of being fixed. Um, number one, you're not going to find any person who says or, or complains that I have scammed them. There is not one single holder who has that complaint. Um, Tread, my asset, has risen exponentially in value since inception. So um, that is pure bullshit. Um, Emily, you have scammed thousands of people with your shitty fake assets. They are not connected to any companies. None of the domains are real. They are not DDoS attacks that are happening against them. It's us reporting them to the host that you are running a scam and then that host um, removes them. That is it. There's no black hat secrets involved. It's just you being a piece of shit and then realizing you're a piece of shit. Um, you, you will never have your flags removed. It's, it's quite simple. While our case was a miscommunication, your case is because you are a pile of crap. Period. So um, the, these little justifications that you're trying to make over um, my voice notes, absolutely not credible at all, whatsoever. And, and the fact that you're speeding up my voice to make me sound, I don't know, nervous or, or like I'm making excuses or something, or, or you're just trying to smear me like usual, um, it's not going to fly with people. People have caught on to your bullshit. They do not trust you. None of the people that used to promote you trust you anymore. You are worthless to them. You got uh, Mel, who's blowing the whistle. You got Quantum Brownie, who's blowing the whistle. 
You got your uh, old buddy, Kabbalah Guru, who's going against you now. And the keystone, Charlie Ward. He is washing his hands of you. He wants nothing to do with you. Your narrative is collapsing. It's imploding in on itself. And, and it is... I'm rubbing my hands because it's delicious. It's, it's so fun to watch. And, and the little uh, beef you have going with Whiplash now, I, I've, we've been noticing. And it, it's hilarious because cause you're both piles of crap. And then you have these communities now who, who, are, who are firing shots off at each other. And, and while you're both horrible, it's just so wonderful to watch. You eat each other. There's no, there's no trust left uh, between you two, and I know, I know, Emily, you thought you had a, uh, what was it? You were engaged to Whiplash or, or some crap like that. It's just another lie that you told people. Um, God, it's that lovers quarrel, and it is so fun to watch. What I want to point out to you, Emily, is one of you is going to roll on the other. That's where this situation is heading. So um, whether you want it to be you or whether you want it to be Whiplash, it's going to happen. Or maybe one of these other promoters who have kind of caught charges because they've been promoting you over time, they might be the first to roll. But everyone knows that you are the squealer. You are going to be the first to turn coat on anyone who's been loyal to you because that's the kind of piece of shit you are. So I would get right with the law. I would probably strike a plea deal um, with the Secret Service, call them up in Texas. Uh, I know there's a field office um, and, and they're close by you. Um, they know exactly where you lay your head at night. They will know if you go to the airport and try to flee the country. You are being monitored, and if I were you, I would be the first to squeal. It's going to save you a lot of time and heartache because you are looking at hundreds of thousands of federal charges. You and Whiplash are going down. Now, how you want to play this it is entirely up to you whether you want to be the squealer and catch lesser charges or, or if you want to absolutely go down with the ship, that's on you. But you're both going down. One of you is going down less than the other. So it's time to cop a plea. The entire community is turning against you and um, you're facing possibly a life sentence. If you're found in bed with the CCP and you're targeting patriotic Americans, like some theory state, um, you could be facing the death penalty for treason. So, I mean, this is very serious shit, Emily. And um, I would be, I would be really paying attention with that uh, relationship you have with whiplash because seems to be failing. And one of you is going to cop a plea. It could be you or him. So, you need to make your choice. Um, also, one other thing, uh, you claim that I'm a, um, a Kazarian. I'm well, I'm a white dude who lives in um, Colorado in the mountains, off grid. Um, no part of me is Jewish, although I respect the Jewish faith. Um, one thing about Kazarians, they're not allowed to do, is eat meat with dairy products. And so I am going to show you how non-Kazarian I am. Check that out. Look at all that cheese, Emily. Look at all that cheese and meat. Oh yeah, it's good, huh? Mmm. Mmm. That's so good. If I was a Jew, I wouldn't be able to do that. So, whoops, there goes that narrative. Anyway, just wanted to hop on here and uh, throw a wrench in your narrative. You have a lovely day. And 
Think about what I said. You should really think about picking up that phone and copping a plea.